So the way this works is we got this solar panel here and it's a 30, puts out basically 32.3 volts on any given day. Uh, it's nine amps and it's a 295 watt panel. So what we've done, we've taken the leads out of here. We've split them with some splitters if they want to run the wires to something else. This will give them a good start. Okay, we come into the panel. The solar charge panel comes through these two wires, which are right here. All Everything on this side of the panel is all DC and, and won't shock you. You know, we're looking, we're fully charged, nothing's shocking you at all. Over here it would, this would. Okay, so the DC from the solar panel comes into here. And this is just a terminal strip just so you can keep track of stuff. It doesn't do anything other than just crosses the wire over and keeps everything kind of neat. So this is the solar charge controller. It takes the solar panel inputs, it takes the battery inputs, and it also has a pass-through load if you need it for something. We're not using it here because we're passing through this and going to the inverter. So the solar panel comes in, the positive and the negative, which is the positive is red and green is the ground. It comes through, comes around here, and goes into the charge controller. And here it's showing we're putting out 24.5 volts and that little arrow flashing is showing that the flashing light, this, the, the, the panel is actually charging the batteries, which are down here. Now this is just a simple 24 volt battery pack in series. You'll see that we have the positive and negative connected in the back with a wire. So what we're getting here is uh, these are just like uh, deep cycle batteries. And then we just take these jumper cable looking things that are actually attached to the charge controller. So we're getting 24 volts at the battery. That red and black come up here to this. And this goes just back right in here to the battery, back to the ch solar charge controller. Uh, so what we're getting is we're getting a little bit of charge right now, even though the sun isn't down. It's going to the battery. And then when the sun goes down, then that will quit flashing and our voltage will slowly start to drop. This meter is hooked up to the battery. It's jumped right here on the back of this panel. It's not coming out of here. It's coming right out of the battery load. So it's taking the battery load here and the voltage is passing through the battery and the solar combined. It's going into these, which is an, a 24 volt uh, DC to 110 AC, 400 watt inverter. Yeah, this is a 24 volt system, so we had to go to 24 volt inverter. So if we take our meter and we go to AC, you can see in our meter we got 116 volts. Right. See it right there? We also see we got a red light, and there we got a fan we're running. Yeah, we're running a fan. fan. That's a 110 volt fan that we're running. That brings us to this little section over here. This is just simply, all of these little wires right here, just simply, if you need to hook something up that you don't have, you can hook it up. You don't have to, you know, that's where it becomes a breadboard. These are little uh, clips for voltage. Now this is, this is hooked up to the five volts. So I know you had a bunch of stuff in the, in there that hooked up five volts, you know, All like right. USB stuff. So that would just come right from here, which is here. And go over here and I can show you on these two clips where I'm getting five volt DC, which is USB basically. And now it's not there, hold on, because I'm not plugged in. I need to plug it in. Okay, there it is, 5.09 float. So here we have a USB panel, which is, that's controlled from here. Now here's a five volt mini fan that's just to show you that there's you can charge your phone safely without melting it plug it in turn it on you got a five volt fan 